Hello everybody, before we begin, I just want to uh, take a moment and say that this video is going to be a lot shorter than what we're used to, only for the sheer fact that the previous recording of this actually failed. Like, I'm talking glitching, unable to understand completely what the heck is going on. So, yeah. While this may be shorter, at the same time I don't feel like it's bad. It's just going to suck as in terms of content. However, luckily we were able to finish up the Symphony of Sorcery. So we do have that. Um, and we haven't started the world in the back over there. I'm not going to continue to say what it is. Because I want that to be a surprise. And plus you'll see it at the end of the video. Regardless, I hope you enjoy. And let's get right into it. Hello everybody and welcome back to Keem Hearts Dream Drop Distance. In the last episode... We actually defeated, uh, ooh, I don't remember his name. That one demon monster thing as Riku and completed most of Sora's side of Symphony of Sorcery. In this episode, we're going to continue on, more than likely free Mickey, but more than anything, go into the book. I don't know which one I'm supposed to go into. I think it's this one. Into the musical realm. Okay, like that makes it any better. Uh, uh, wait, can, we can actually leave? Let me actually leave. Okay. What's over here, then? Yep, a chest. I'm, I'm not gonna try to dilly-dally too much. I, ju I just, again, want a chest. Okay. Another chest. Excuse me. Another chest, if I can get it. Ooh, a shooting, a shooting star! Wow, I cannot English today. Oh man. Okay. That's all I wanted was just the chest. Let's go to the chamber. Okay, I want to say this one. No, we've been here. Okay. On to the other one. Okay. Square to slide and catch up with the spelican. Oh, so he's a pelican! Oh, I thought it was a turkey. Come back here. Oh, can I fly? Or can I jump? Oh, come on. Ooh, that was pretty handy. Ow. Working on it. Oh, where am I going? Come back here! Whoa. Sweet hell. Slam me down. Strike her because it's cool. Dang it, I missed. Ow. Kira. Man, he has a lot of health, actually. Where is he? Wait, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? He's up there, okay. Uh, okay, so we're gonna have to heal a lot with this guy. I can already tell. Come back here. Quick, quick. Come on, kids. Let's do this. Uh, 
then at the same time we're also dealing with a lot of health. Thank you, level up stream part dia. And yes, I'm gonna keep saying it like that, just because it's funny to me. Okay, heal up a little. Hey, yo, Slam. Really? Really? Is this ready? No. Where is he? Oh, he would freaking be over there. Get over here, you turkey bitch! No. Really? Come on. He's almost dead though, so that's good. Quick quick. There you go, slam. Dead! Yes! Sora. Don't know what I would have done without you. <laughs> oh no! Huh? The water! Oh, I'm in big trouble if I don't fetch it. See you real soon, Sora. Yeah, you know it. Counterpoint, a keyblade with long reach that provides an extra boost in magic and makes it easier to trigger reality shifts. Master Yen Sid? Gosh, do you think he'll be able to do it? Hmm. It's clear you cannot teach a cat to bark. But Merlin and the three good fairies are aiding him in a place that's more temporally flexible. My hope is that he can at least learn to wield it. He certainly has fire. So I suppose it depends now on how strongly it burns. Oh. But what about Sora and Riku? Well, if we are running on the assumption Xehanort knew what we were planning, then he still would need to have been there. Back in the very place and time when the Destiny Islands were lost to darkness. Otherwise, Sora and Riku would have been beyond his reach. Mm. Gee, do you really think it's possible Xehanort could have planned things that far in advance? No, as a matter of fact, I do not. But what if he did the same thing as Sora and Riku did, and he jumped through time? For that to work, a version of himself would have had to exist at both Source and Destination. Not even Xehanort can transport his whole body across vast reaches of time. <gasps> oh! Oh no! I remember, Xehanort did give up his body! It was a version of him that was possessing Riku! No, it cannot be. Could he be that cunning? Possess that kind of foresight? <clears throat> if it's all right with you, can I go help Sora and Riku out? How? 
You cannot enter the world of a dream. Where will you go? If Sanort really is behind all this, then they won't stay in the dream worlds forever. Eventually, they're gonna reappear somewhere that we can go reach them. And we can even probably guess the place. Follow the hearts, and you'll find the way. That's something Master Aqua told me once. Hmm. We're going too. Ah, oh, fellas, you're my best pals. But this time, I really do need to go it alone. The dangers are greater than anything we've ever faced before. If something were to happen to Sora and Riku and me, why, you'll be the only ones left to keep this world safe. Oh. Mickey. I was not able to locate Sora, but I sense Riku's presence in the realm between. Trust your heart, and I know you will find him. Thank you. I promise I'll bring them both back safe and sound. Alright, perfect. So now the Symphony of Sorcery is done. And just to make a guess, I'm pretty sure they were talking about Axel by the man who has a lot of fire in him. But either way, now we have the world that never was. Which is honestly by far one of my favorite worlds in all of Kingdom Hearts history. And I am so... Okay, as you all saw, uh... That fade out was exactly when the glitch just started. After that, the audio was all garbled and everything, and like you, I, I not even I can make anything out of it. Um, but yeah, Symphony Source is done. Country Musketeer is done. We're now actually moving on to the uh, the world that never was. Level 38. We're actually gonna have to work on that. But regardless, again, I apologize for such a short video. Unless you actually like them this short, in which case, let me know. That way, I know exactly what to work with. And actually, it'd make, make it a little bit easier on me to make it this short. But still, my name is Super Mario 208, and I will see you all next time.